Good afternoon, members of Eagle Creek. Uh, we're given uh, the first video update from the golf course of uh, 2018. Uh, Want to inform you and show you a uh, pretty serious problem we have going on with our pine trees here on um, uh, the golf course and Eagle Creek property. Uh, we're losing a pretty substantial amount of pine trees post storm um, by the southern pine beetle. And the reason uh, this is going on it is from weakened trees, weakened root system as a result of the hurricane force winds that we experienced. It's a very uh, common thing for this to happen. However, we're seeing it on a pretty um, uh, exponential scale at this point. And we're kind of expecting this to continue over the next uh, maybe six months, possibly even a year. Uh, so far, we've lost 350 pine trees uh, over the last month and a half. Um, we've got a number of trees still to remove that are infected uh, with the southern pine beetle. And I want to show you exactly what we're dealing with here, about the size of a, a grain of rice. Um, and then we're going to show you an active infection. This is a tree to the left of uh, hole number eight. And these are the little what I call pock marks that they, uh, the beetle makes as he's penetrating uh, the cambium layer, uh, layer of the, uh, the pine tree. They're entering the tree basically for water, sugar, nutrients that are contained within the trunk of the tree. The trunk then kind of sort of bleeds sap trying to protect itself and because this tree has weak, been weakened by uh, the hurricane uh, the amount of sap that it can push out and the internal pressure of the tree doesn't really do a good job to keep the beetle out. So this, this infection here in this particular tree happened over about a three day period. Um, there might be as many as 10,000 uh, beetles in this one tree. And Don, if you show all the way up, you see these little pot marks literally all the way up to the top of the, of the tree itself. At this point, um, really the only thing recommended and the only thing we can do is remove the trees as quickly as possible, uh, which we have been doing and will continue to do. Uh, a good sign recently has been the uh, number of trees going down each day has, has uh, decreased substantially due to the cooler weather. Uh, once warmer temperatures come back, um, I'm afraid that we're going to see a lot more of them go down much more quickly. Um, we're going to take you over here to the left side of number seven now and show you a uh, what we call a hot spot where we've got a number of dead pines that we'll be removing within the next week or so. So we'll take you over there now. Okay we're over on the left side of seven, actually far left side of seven. We're actually on the edge of the horticultural dump in the uh, maintenance uh, facility area. And what we're showing you now is a uh, southern pine beetle kind of hot spot. And all the trees that you see there, brown needles, uh, bear trees, sticks, all of these trees have been killed over the last probably two weeks from the southern pine beetle. These trees were alive, green, somewhat healthy, uh, post storm, post hurricane. And as you go through here, you can see the size of the trees that this little a uh, rice sized bug can take out. And on the left, left side of seven, we've got about uh, 40 or 50 trees, maybe 60 trees right now that we've got to remove. But there's a lot of green trees that are, that are also going to continue to lose. And one thing I want to point out as you shoot right here, Don, if you look at the canopy heights, this is going to be kind of the long term effect. The tops of these pines, you know, 60, 80 feet, the tallest tree that we really have down here, especially the tallest native tree. Imagine that whole canopy is gone and look at the next canopy down. That will be the sable palms and the uh, lower uh, vegetation. So you're looking at a, a loss of anywhere from 30 to, to maybe 60 feet of height once these, all these trees are gone. Plus these trees uh, uh, provide kind of a canopy uh, uh, effect over the palms and um, other vegetation underneath. So um, 
we're, we're going to continue to monitor it. I'm working with a few, uh, actually a couple entomologists right now. Uh, also a, um, a pesticide manufacturing company. Just looking at is there anything that we can possibly do. Uh, rule of thumb is that there is not. Um, the best management practices practice is to remove it as quickly as possible. Um, so we're going to continue to monitor it. We'll continue to update. You will see uh, tree removal going on for probably the next couple of months. Um, and then once we enter the peak beetle activity season, which is April, May, and June, that's when we're really going to be watching things. So uh, we'll keep you posted.